So in the previous video, we learned the 10 best trading lessons and the basics of candlesticks. And we're going to continue learning together and read this 180 pages crypto trading manual written by Emperor BTC, this very famous trader on Twitter. So let's learn the second most important thing about trading and that is support and resistance. So support and resistance must be the most underrated tool in trading which isn't given enough time or attention by most beginners. And I personally also try to use support and resistance when I trade. So this green one is the support. The red one used to be the resistance but now it turned into a support. And this yellow line was my target resistance and Bitcoin is coming down from that resistance and trying to retest this new support. So support and resistance can be categorized as an area of support demand which acts as a probable zone of entry and exit, two, trading support and resistance, Three horizontal lines denoting a price of either support of resistance. We will be studying these horizontal lines in this thread. So this is the horizontal resistance line. So definition, a support line indicates a price where the buying pressure is more than the selling pressure, acting as a base for an upward bounce of price. So this is the example of a support line. So let's learn how to draw a support line. So first, you zoom out. Then you find a line that is touching as many lower points as possible. In this chart, this $1880 seems like a support at the moment for this chart. Because as you can see here, the price reacted one, twice, third time, four, five, and six. You can see the price has reacted to this price line six times. Price went up, meet this line, got resisted. Second time, rejected again. Third time, break out, retest, bounce, and after the rally, it comes all the way down back to this line. Bounce back up, second time also bounce, and the third time now another rally. So now we can tell this is a super strong support line that is hard to break. And the comment from the author, it's practically acceptable if the support line crosses a candle wick or doesn't touch the wick or only touches the wick. The support line doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. We are mostly looking for zones rather than a perfect straight price line. So that is why my support and resistance look like a box instead of a single line. And resistance is the opposite. Selling pressure is bigger than buying pressure and acts as a base for the downward trend. So again, zoom out. So find a line touching as many high points as possible. So it seems like $2,700 looks like a good resistance line with at least one, two, three, four reactions. At least four. And here's the textbook example of resistance line. And in the example, you can see a fake breakout right here. So it break out, but then it breaks down. And it will be explained later in detail. So next, what's breakdown and what's breakout? What's the difference? When the price breaks the resistance line after testing several times, that's the breakout. See, tested once, twice, third time, now fourth breakout. In popular opinion, the more times we test the support, the weaker it becomes. And now the opposite. When the support line is tested too many times, it gets weaker and a breakdown can occur. But that's not always the case. As you can see in this chart, they test this one, two, and three times, but it went higher instead of the breakdown. So what happens if a support or resistant line breaks? 
they start acting in the opposite nature. A support line becomes a resistance and a resistance becomes a support. So this line used to be a resistance. And there was a breakout, retest, bounce, rally, and now it becomes a new support. And same for the support. If you break the support, it becomes resistance. So how should we use the support and resistance? When a support line established and confirmed by retest bounce, you can enter a long position. So that's the simple theory, but in real life, many things can happen. So one of the more profitable ways to use support and resistance is to use them as breakdown and breakout zone. So a breakout leads to a strong uptrend rally in price because of a huge demand at the resistance zone. So long at the breakout. And the exact opposite, short at breakdown. But before you enter, you should know the institutional players will do some kind of stop loss hunting and create a fake breakout. So for an example, most traders will enter short here expecting a pullback at this line and possibly set a stop loss right here. Then the institutional players pump the price up for the stop loss hunting. So with this weak institutional players stop out a lot of traders and then they enter a short position here. So then the price goes down, retail short sellers stopped out and institutional players taking profits. So that's the example of a fake breakout. So in this scenario, the traders lose money even after being right. That's called short hunting. And with the exact same chart, a few traders enter long here at this line expecting a breakout and then price goes up, but the institutional players enter short position here. So fake breakout confirms and longs get stopped out when the price goes down. Stopping out all the longs. This is called long hunting at the resistance. And the same exact stop loss hunting is done at the support. Stop loss hunting for longs and shorts at the support can be seen here. So now that we have understood that taking long and short entries at the exact support and resistance line can get you stopped out, let's look at two solutions for this problem. First solution is to look for the following. Breakout and breakdown, retest, and follow through. So support formed, retest, and confirmed with the bounce, then you enter here after the bounce you enter. So basically just by doing this, you enter after the fake breakout, if that happens. So that's simple. Same as here, breakout, retest candle, confirm, and going up. So you enter long after the confirm retest candle. Second solution, after a breakout or a bounce from the support line, wait for the price to break another resistance like this one so there's resistance here if they break this resistance you enter long so the same concept can be applied for going short at resistance or breakdowns so that's all for the support and resistance next video we're going to learn risk management so thank you for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next video